3rd Congressional District is one of the few parts of California that is still growing. Uh, cities like Roseville and Folsom and Lincoln are growing as fast as anywhere. People want to come to our communities because of the high quality of life, because we have eluded the downward spiral that has afflicted many other parts of California, because we support small businesses. We support law enforcement and public safety. We have local governments that are accountable to taxpayers. But precisely because of this success, many people want to move into our communities, and it's creating major challenges when it comes to traffic. So I have made it a top priority to look for every possible opportunity to stop spending federal dollars on wasteful projects like the high-speed rail boondoggle and instead direct those funds to needed local road projects that will alleviate traffic for my constituents. So I was very glad to participate earlier this year in the groundbreaking uh, for the uh, I-80 fifth lane project, which is going to improve travel times westbound and I-80 between Douglas Boulevard and Riverside Avenue. And in the Transportation Appropriations Bill, which will be voted on by the House today, I've secured uh, funding for three important projects in our district. The first is the US 50 uh, Empire Ranch Road Interchange Project, which will reduce traffic congestion and improve safety on a interchanges, ultimately enhancing local and regional circulation and transportation uh, infrastructure in Folsom and surrounding areas. The second is the Blue Oaks uh, Boulevard road Roadway and Brid Bridge Widening Project, which is going to alleviate a critical transportation bottleneck. And the third is the Folsom Lake Crossing Safety Improvement Phase 2 Project, which will enhance road safety on Folsom Lake Crossing by adding a median barrier rail to minimize head-on collisions, injuries, and fatalities. Mr. Speaker, this is the way that fund federal funding should be directed, towards uh, infrastructure and projects that will improve the quality of life for our constituents. So I'm glad that in the bill that we voted on today, that is the priority and that, we'll be, that we will be sending zero dollars to the failed California high-speed rail. Thank you, and I yield back.